Today we will find the expectation value of position and the expectation value of momentum for a particle trapped in a one dimensional box having width L. So we know that the expression for the expectation value of position as given by expectation x is equal to integral from minus infinity to plus infinity x into mod psi square dx. So since this expectation value is for position, uh, the operator x can be anywhere since the operator x is x itself. So we can find this uh, value by substituting the wave function for a particle trapped in a one dimensional box. We know that the normalized wave function for a particle in a box is given by psi n is equal to root 2 by L sin n pi x by L. So this wave function is different for different quantum states and uh, therefore in the expectation value we will write expectation x is equal to integral from minus infinity to plus infinity x into mod psi n square dx. So we know that uh, from minus infinity to 0 the wave function is 0 for a particle trapped in a box and from 0 to uh, from L to infinity again the wave function is 0 and the wave function is non-zero only for 0 to L and uh, therefore we can split the integrals into 3 and for the first and third one the wave function and therefore the probability density vanish and therefore we can write the integral from 0 to L x into mod psi n square dx. We will already discuss either than uh, more integrals and integrals 0 I part. So substituting the value of mod psi n square over here, we know that psi n is a real value and therefore the conjugate of the wave function psi n star is uh, root 2 by L psi n pi x by L is also equal to psi n since it is uh, real. And therefore mod psi n square is equal to psi n star psi n is 2 by L psi n square n pi x by L and substituting its value over here in this integral we will get uh, the expectation value of the position of the particle as given by expectation x is equal to x into integral from 0 to L x into 2 by L will be there outside the integral sin square n pi x by L. We know that 2 sin square theta can be written as 1 minus cos 2 theta and sin square theta is 1 minus cos 2 theta by 2 and therefore we can write uh, 2 by L into integral 0 to L x into 1 minus cos 2n pi x by L whole divided by 2. So the 2 comes over here into dx. So integrating, uh, before integrating we can write this as 2 integrals. 2 by L into integral 0 to L. This 2 by L and 1 by 2 over here cancels and we have 1 by L over here x dx minus uh, this two, uh, 2 by L into 1 by 2 that is one, 1 over L is a common factor 1 over L integral 0 to L x into cos 2n pi x by L dx so which can be written as uh, equal to 1 over L and the integral of x dx is x square by 2 from 0 to L and uh, minus uh, 1 over L uh, so this uh, second term can be integrated by parts so first function is x and the second function as cos 2 n pi x by L so integrating this we will get 1 over L is a common factor. First function into integral of second. Sin 2n pi x by L divided by 
n pi by l from 0 to l minus integral of derivative of first that is 1 into integral of second sin 2n pi x by l dx divided by 2n pi by l. So this 2n pi by l is a common factor. So that can be taken out. So we will get the expectation value of position of the particle by substituting this. So 1 over l into applying the limits we will get l square by 2 minus 0. Minus 1 over l into uh, 1 by 2n pi by l or l by 2n pi. Uh, l into sin 2n pi l by l. So sin 2n pi. So l into sin 2 pi l 2 pi l terms will get cancelled. We know that sin 2 pi is uh, 0. So, the upper limit is L into 0 minus the lower limit is x, x itself is 0, 0, 0 into sin 0. And this integral of, there is 1 by 2n pi by L over here, L by 2n pi. Integral of this is uh, cos Sorry, minus cos. So, we have a plus over here. Cos 2n pi x by L by 2n pi again. Applying the limit from 0 to L. So, we have L by 2 minus 0 plus L by 2n pi whole square cos 2n pi x by l from 0 to l that means cos 2 n pi minus cos 0 we know that cos 2n pi is 1 cos 2 pi is 1 cos uh, 4 pi is 1 like that so we have uh, L by 2n pi whole square into cos zeros again 1, 1 minus 1. So this term also vanishes and we have the expectation value of position of the particle is given by L by 2. We can see that the expectation value of the position of the particle in a one dimensional box is independent of the value of n. So, whatever be the quantum state, the expectation value is same. So, expectation value is nothing but the average value. So, when the particle is in the ground state, the expectation value is L by 2. When the particle is in the excited state, then also uh, the expectation value is L by 2. So, whatever be the quantum state, the expectation value of the position of the particle in one dimensional box is always L by 2. So that is the average position of the particle in the, is in the middle of the box for all quantum states. So even though the probability of finding the particle is 0 for n is equal to 2, 4, 6 etc. Uh, we can see that the probability of finding the particle in the middle of the box is 0 for quantum states having n equal to uh, an even number. So, for uh, 2 and similarly for uh, uh, n equal to 4, uh, in the center of the box, the probability is 0. So, even though the probability of finding the particle is 0 in the middle of the box, the, the expectation value which is nothing but the average value as L by 2 for all the quantum states. So this is due to the symmetry of mode psi square with respect to L by 2. It is symmetric and therefore the average value will be always in the center.
so uh, uh, expectation value is an average not a probability so even though the probability finding the particle in the middle of the box is 0 for uh, n equal to 2 4 6 8 etc and the their expectation value is always l by 2 this is due to the symmetry okay 